Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. So today I want to talk about something very interesting to me. I hope it interests you as well. But I've, I've been on this crazy kick, man. You guys that, that follow me already know. But So recently I just got this little fellow right here. The family computer disk system. What? Pretty awesome. You can run off of batteries if you wanted to buy what? What is that? C batteries? six of them or you can you can use a, a power adapter as well mine came with the adapter but here's the thing famicom disk system is, is a couple pieces it's the drive which all this does is read discs this isn't like you know that's pretty much what this is just reads the discs then you have the ram adapter the ram adapter plugs into the top of your famicom to the cartridge slot you know, or if you have a, a AV Famicom or a clone system, uh, the AVS or the analog that has, you know, a Famicom slot, you can use this on. I have an AVS, so that's what I'm going to be using this bad boy on. So let me go ahead and set this thing aside because this doesn't work. This just does not work. It makes me want to cry. It brings a tear to my eyes. <laughs> just a little bit. But here's the deal. So this, this back piece from the RAM adapter, it plugs into the disk system. Boot up your disks, you know, you turn your system on, boot up the disks, good to go, ready to rock. But the thing is, is the Famicom disk system, it, you know, I'm not knocking anything, but it, it, the quality behind it, the way it was designed, you, you know, is part of the reason that it didn't launch in the US and across the world, and why it essentially, you know, was a failure in Japan is, you know, it had these a belt system. The belts would melt or they would break or fall off. You'd have to re-lubricate the system and parts and recalibrate things. You know, it was a mess. You know what I mean? Your average consumer ain't got the time for that or the knowledge or the know-how. I could fix it myself, but for some reason I'm a donk lately. I can't fix this damn thing. I'm not getting it to read discs. Everything will power on and boot up, but it won't read my discs, man. I'm very disappointed with that, but that's okay because we got a solution. If you have original hardware or clone hardware and you want to play games on, on that hardware and use the RAM adapter, we got a solution minus the disk system, the actual disk drive. So let's go ahead and take a look at that, shall we? Boom. <laughs> Okay, so taking a peek at what we got to do here, or what I really want to look at and talk about, what we're going to do, first off, I'm going to go ahead and plug this bad boy into the top of my AVS. Boom, she's in there. Fits nicely, fits nicely. Now we're stuck with the, the end piece here. It'll boot up. Everything will boot up just fine. Let me see if I can get her to come up. Let's see. Let's see what to do. So here's what we get. We boot her up. We get the normal Famicom disk system. Please set disk card. Well, I don't, I don't, my disk system doesn't work at the moment. Maybe eventually it will. I have actual disks and I want to use them, but right now it doesn't work. So what do we got? Well, here's our solution. This looks like a, a USB thumb drive almost. It's almost essentially what it is. But this awesome little thing is called the Famicom disk system stick. You have USB on one side, then you have a connection on the other, and then you have a little button right right there, little button right in the middle. So how this thing works is, is you go to their website, link will be in the description. I didn't even want to do this video, but I think this thing is so awesome. I gotta give them a shout out and show how you know how this functions. But you go to their website, there's a quick little file you have to download. You have this bad boy plugged into your PC. Poop. Boop. I don't know. I don't know what kind of sound it makes, but BAM! Execute that program. Pops up. Nice, wonderful little window. Select your, your Famicom disk system files. They have to be FDS files. They can't be zipped, at least from my experience. That's the only way I can get them to show up. And they're, they're small files anyway, so it ain't no big deal. We ain't trying to save space. This little thing right here will hold every single Famicom disk system game and then some. 
and the files are small, like I said, so it's no biggie to have them unzipped if you have them zipped. Transfer them over, apply, very simple. I'm not even going to show a tutorial on the, on the program because it's simple. Now, it can be, you know, more to it because you can use this with the added uh, cable and some modifications to back up disks, but that's not what I wanted this for. I wanted this to boot up, you know, disk files on the RAM adapter on hardware. So after you've transferred your games over, simply you take the end piece there, and as you see, it's magically shaped the same as this. So let them make sweet love. Boom. Whoa. Did you see that right now? Are your eyes playing tricks on you? I'm not just kidding. I'm just excited. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my god. So these are the games I have on my, my little disc stick. Yeah, that's what she is. Um, so essentially this is just a miniaturized version of the disc system. You just don't need the discs. Hey, why not? Boots up as soon as you plug that bad boy in. And you got your list of games. Like I said, you can put every game on here. I don't have every game at the moment because I'm not necessarily interested in all of them. But I do have a nice little selection of games that I like and I want to play. So one of the benefits to this is that, you know, the disc system, the RAM adapter and whatnot, some of these games were released on cartridge and on disc, but they originally released on disc to save cost, but it just wasn't adopted very well. So, you know, they released a lot of these games on cartridge anyway. Um, but the, the system supported an extra channel of audio. So some of these games, the music is different. Sound effects are different. There's that extra channel and love it or hate it. Some of these games were originally made for the disc system. So Zelda, for example, um, you know, it's going to have music that you're not accustomed to. Some of these games going to have sound effects that you're not accustomed to, but that's how they were originally attended because they were on disc before they were on cartridge. So those of us in the U.S. and Europe, we're not going to be accustomed to the, the sounds and whatnot in these games. Um, you know, not all of them, but most of them took advantage of that, that expanded uh, audio. And I think it's pretty freaking awesome. But let's go ahead and take a look at Kumajao Dracula. I don't know if I said that right, but I don't care. It's Castlevania. What? So I hit start, selected my game. Now she's loading up. You know, not a big deal, but yeah, these games have to load. They only take a few seconds, but they do have to load. Here's the next part of it, Castlevania. I'm going to go ahead and push start. I already have a save file on here. Go ahead and press start. Now loading. Who, who would have thought? Old school Nintendo game. Now loading? Mm. Please set disc B. What? So a lot of times with Famicom disc games... You know, there's a side A and B. Some of them, the full game was on one side. Some of them, it was between both sides. The cool thing was they had kiosks where you could, like, rewrite your discs and it would give you a label. You could change, like, Mario Brothers to tennis or something, you know what I mean? And it was only a few bucks. It wasn't anything crazy. So that was kind of cool. I really wish they would have done that out here in the States. I would have bought this damn thing. It would have pissed me off if it broke, but I would have bought it just to have that you know, paying essentially what you would pay to rent a game back then and getting a whole new game. I think that was pretty awesome. But back to the point here. Please set disc B. So some of these games, they were off of both sides of the disc instead of a single game on both sides. So you would have to flip it. Sometimes it would be where you saved your game, you flipped the disc, started the game, you know, selected your save file, or it would play the intro and then you know, like Zelda, it just plays the intro and it doesn't tell you, but you need to flip the disc to start playing the game. So the way you would do that is this little button on here. You press it twice real quick. Boop, boop. Or boop, boop. I don't know. You know, whatever sound it makes. Hit it twice real fast, though, and it would set it to disc B. It would flip the disc, essentially. If you just tap it once real quick, it would set it to, disc, to side A. If you held it for a second and let go it would eject the disc so if you don't if you're setting it to side b you have to press it real quick if you don't press it real quick it'll it'll act as if you're setting it to side a and it'll give you an error so let's go ahead and try this real quick now loading let's see success no i didn't do it i didn't do it correctly so you got to do it quick 
see, I, I messed up again. Now I'm going to do it with my thumb because I'm kind of like holding it toward the camera and it's messing me up. But double tap, loading. No. There we go. I think I got six. No. There we go. That time it worked. Like I said, if that's, that's the only drawback to this thing. And it's not a huge deal. It's not a deal breaker for me because it only, it only happens if I'm not holding it correctly to, to double tap it. Like I said, you have to double tap it quick for it to register that you're changing it to side B. If you just hit it once real quick, it'll set it to side A. So if you don't do the double real quick, it thinks you're trying to set it to side A. That's the only drawback, but you get used to it, I'm assuming. You know, I, if I'm holding it properly, I can do it. So here we go. We got the sound on, everything ready to roll. Playing some original Castlevania on the disc system. What? So I've I already had a save file, so I've been kind of messing with this a little bit. But man, I, I really do dig this game. Really love getting to play this on hardware. Getting that expanded or you know expansion audio. It, it's just so beautiful. You know this this little device cost 16 bucks. Like I said, I ordered it on a Friday and I received it on a Monday. Just top notch, man. These guys aren't playing around. They're trying to take care of their customers and that's that's something I appreciate. You know, it's not going to be for everybody. If you're a collector, you're not going to want this thing. You're, you're going to want the actual discs. I have discs. My disc system just won't play them right now, so that's the unfortunate part. This was just kind of a solution until I can get a working disc system, but I'm really happy I bought it. You know, kind of like a... a a little early birthday present for myself, you know? Maybe? I mean, $16, no big deal. My birthday's not for a few months away, but hey, however you gotta justify what you buy yourself, right? But, you know, 16 bucks, that's, you know, you can go to lunch at Fat Burger and get a burger and fries and a drink for, you know, that. Place is expensive. But... <laughs> You know, to be able to use this, it, it, it's very awesome. You know, I'm kind of in the middle of being a collector versus just wanting to play these games. So I'll buy homebrews and, and uh, you know, hacked cartridges, stuff like that. You know, little interesting things. A few reproductions on things that are just like, you know, I wanted. Not just that, not just to have, but they're games I really wanted to play, like Snow Brothers, stuff like that. Um, you know, so that's, that's where I'm at. I'm in a different subsection of collector. Like, I, I want physical stuff, but I don't want to pay crazy prices for it, and values don't mean anything to me. I'm not buying anything to have a collection that I can brag about and say, hey, this is worth this. No, I want games that I want to play, and, you know, this is where it's at. If, if you want to use hardware and you want to enjoy these games, this is an option. I would prefer to be playing on the actual disc, but, you know, I have that issue at the moment with my system, unfortunately. And, hey this works and I'm really happy with it you know I'm, I'm glad I bought it I'm glad these guys shipped it so quick and you know I'm, I'm really happy with this thing so this is pretty much the mini Famicom disk system in my opinion you know that's what I'm calling it that's what I'm calling it but I hope this was informative I hope you guys you know that you got something out of this maybe if you're interested in, in, in grabbing something like this because even the just the RAM cartridge by itself. If you didn't want the whole setup and you just want the RAM cart and this thing, you can find these RAM carts anywhere from 20 to 40 bucks online. And that's all you really need besides this. You don't need the disk drive and all that if you don't want to buy the disks. The disks aren't too expensive. There's not too many of them out there that are worth a lot of money, but there's still some awesome games for it. But if this is something you want and you want to play it on an AVS or an analog or you have a, a AV Famicom or something, this is a definite option. For less than 60 bucks, you can get up and running with the RAM adapter and one of these guys. I wonder why it's looking like that now. Crazy, it's a ghost. But hey, smash that like button. I really appreciate it. You know, I think it looks like this or something like that. Smash it. Uh, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Would really appreciate that as well. Maybe, you know, please. No, you don't have to if you don't want to. But please, subscribe. Smash that like button. Check out my giveaways. I got a couple giveaways that are going on right now. I'll have them like up here or over there. Some, somewhere. They'll be over here somewhere. Click that. Boom, boom, boom. Click all that great stuff. Enter my giveaways. 
awesome stuff going on. Catch you guys next time. Appreciate it. Boom. Maybe?